harm. I am Supergirl. Hey guys, just finished watching Supergirl season four, episode twenty. Um, with a real Miss Test Matcher, please stand up. Um, <laughs> this um. This episode was 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 interesting. It was really was an interesting uh, uh, event. We start off with Lockwood's wife, uh, and he leaves kind of his wife's funeral and stuff. That kind of turns up turning his uh, his son on him, who ends up kind of hating his father for this this episode. So that'll be interesting to see as to where things go with that. Um, but like I said, we should have seen like it, it, it seems like it's interesting to seeing him, how they're doing this with uh, his his son and seeing him slowly turn and stuff. And they did it a few episodes and stuff um, ago. Uh, it just would have been nice to see him kind of like I said slowly turn, have George uh, Lockwood turn kind of a little bit, see deep pieces of that earlier on rather than so late in the game like this. But it is kind of interesting in the way they've done it, especially with this big moment being like yes, this is the moment where it makes perfectly sense that. Um, that he's you know going to turn on his father and he's not going to agree with his father's uh, uh, mission type thing anymore and I think that's really going to be cool. We see that uh, Karon's saving the plane that her and Lena kind of are on as they're flying over to Kaznia and stuff and which was interesting it was a cool moment and stuff seeing her kind of flying around and stuff but it didn't make sense because she's in the plane and Lena's flying the plane in the, in the cockpit and Carl just gets out of the plane. How the hell did Carl get out of the plane without, you know, punching a hole through the door, punching a hole through anywhere, ripping the door open, opening up a door? Even if there was an actual lever where she was able to sneak out of um, and actually open up a, a door, how did she do that without setting off any alarms in the cockpit? And Lena and Lena going, what, what's going on? What did you? Someone a door's open, you know? How is something going on like that? Like doesn't make sense. Um, now what they could have done, they easily could have done, is maybe. Say that you know Lena Lex Luthor had someone sneak into uh, you know Lex Corp and uh, Eve had someone uh, had someone plant a secret bomb on that ship on that plane so that whenever they wanted to he could blow it up blow up part of the back end of the uh, of it in like a cargo bay or whatever a really small part small enough bomb that would make quite a big enough hole for a car to just fly out of and go out and do that but um i think that would have been way more interesting to doing it that way uh you know all you, you just have a little explosion and something happens and then you know she can go out the, that hole and that's how she ends up saving uh you know she's end up say she's able to save um you know save the plane and stuff that would have made way more sense doing that maybe carl rips open one of the seats and stuff and flies through it and then uses the seat to kind of block the hole type thing and then uh, you know, catches the plane. I don't know, it was just kind of silly. I just didn't have any explanation as to how she got out of the plane without alerting uh, uh, Lena that, you know, she's Supergirl. Because the only way she would have gotten out of the plane, even if she opened up a door, that would have set off so many alarms and completely derailed the, 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 the plane out of uh, out of any control that, that, that Lena might have had while she was sitting in the cockpit trying to pilot the plane. We see that Alex is, spends the episode trying to... Um, adopt a kid and stuff and she's you know looked like she was about to and then at the last minute things change and stuff and i think that was kind of interesting with that the way they were doing that at first when she got that last phone call i thought oh my god they're going to say that you know the 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 birth they went wrong and things went wrong and the, the child didn't make it type thing i think that would have been uh quite dark to go that way but instead they went a little bit less dark and said that she turned changed her mind and stuff decided to keep the the child um and i think they just they just spending the whole episode with alex trying to f adopt a kid oh my god that's not what i want from a superhero show i mean it's just boring and just sappy and it's just jesus it's just kind of just a completely boring storyline i what i'd love to have is have her do her own thing and then all of a sudden she's just like oh i got my child interesting and then you know play it into it they just kind of stretch this one little thing out so long i mean like she even says in this episode she applied for it a long time ago we haven't talked about it for so long and then all of a sudden you're just oh we need something for her to do we have nothing for alex to do let's have her you know gr uh, have her just talk about getting a child this whole episode and have her do nothing so that was kind of completely silly they could have had her in the middle of the uh the fight with uh with brainiac and dreamer and going up against uh against ben lockwood and stuff and then him taking the 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 serum and stuff later on having john showing up at the last minute he, you know alex could have been part of that and part of the turning of the deo against him i think that could have been really interesting to seeing that um and it, it was cool the way they did that with um 
with 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 Lockwood and stuff, and I think it would have been quite interesting to see as to where things kind of could have gone with that, and having Alex's opinion on that. You know, I think that could have been really uh, interesting to see her involved in that storyline rather than have her this other third storyline going on that's kind of completely useless, completely a waste of our time in this episode. You know, I mean, yes, it's something that you know they've set up, they got to talk about and stuff, but it should not have been as focused on this such a big part of a of an episode and a focus. I mean, this was like delegated to the second storyline took a more storyline than than Brainiac trying to stop uh, Ben Lockwood from going uh, all rampage and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, it was just kind of silly. Uh, and I really don't like that storyline because it's just taking up too much. If they want to have it, you know, play with it a little bit here and there, which I get, I understand, but have it be, you know, the third storyline within an episode or little bits, pieces and stuff in here, uh, that's just too much focus on her trying to adopt the child and it's just not the storyline we're looking for when you're watching a comic book show or a superhero show. That's not what we are looking for is the, you know, them going through the process, someone going through the process of adopting a child and having that be the focus of the, the episode. I mean, it's just, oh, so drive me crazy. So we see Carl ends up finding the red daughter. At least they find all the information on her so you're on some screens and stuff. So that's going to be interesting to see where things go with that in the next episode. It looks like off the based off the the, the trailer that you know Shu they will be kind of fighting and stuff. Um, although it's kind of it's kind of annoying that they have to put the the other uh, you know the red daughter in a helmet thing so that you know they don't have to have you know they don't have to make them look the same or anything like that. They don't have to worry about that they could put anyone in the costume, which is kind of annoying because just. Fork up the money and have and make you know have Melissa Benoist play both roles and and do it very well you know do the full on CGI uh, you know put the money into it it's just these shows are getting too cheap for their, their what they're trying to do you it's a Supergirl show you can't hold back you know so that's just kind of annoying that they're gonna do that for the next episode um, and then we see that Lockwood ends up you know injecting himself with the hair on L and getting some powers and stuff so that'd be that was kind of cool the when he was he was. You know, him and, and James Olsen were fighting and stuff. Uh, although the cards, every time they touched the car and tried to pick one up, it looked obviously fake. That was kind of boring. And, uh, and you know, James threw a truck at Lockwood and it just kind of landed there. And it was obvious that it didn't even land on him or anything like that. It just landed in front of him and he just kind of slides it out of the way. But he doesn't even slide it out of the way far or anything. He just kind of gently slides it like a couple of feet, which is like... Why just have it throw it at him and have him like break it in two? Very, uh, very similar to um, what was it? There's some scenes I think in uh, Batman v Superman or Justice League or something where you know there's a there's a car and someone comes and flies flips in and and, and Wonder Woman kind of slices the the, the truck in, in half or yeah that scene I think it was um, actually I think it it was in uh, you could have had an interesting scene where he where, where James throws the car and then Lockwood just kind of punches it right in the middle and it kind of breaks in two type thing. That would have been really epic to do that than just kind of sliding the car on the pavement and stuff. That was kind of boring. So that fight, um, which should have been way better than it was, was just very underwhelming and very boring. Um, we see John, like I said, John Jones shows up at the last minute and stuff. That was kind of cool. So it'd be cool to see him joining the fight maybe for the future episodes. Uh, that'll be fun. And we find out at the end of the episode that Lex, the president is working with Lex Luthor as he ends up taking when Kara shows up at the at, at the the White House and stuff. And that was at first with that was for me that didn't make any sense because he just she just shows up and they just let her in like nothing, you know. She doesn't have any credentials. It just didn't make sense. You know, first of all she if she wanted to get anything to him, she'd have to hand it to someone, then we'd have to go all the way down the chain, um, which wouldn't make sense, you know, as to how it would get she'd just be able to just knock on the White House door and say, Hey Mr president I'd like to talk to you um so that didn't make sense whatsoever but now that we know another you know it looks like he's working with uh lex luthor maybe they have something in set up so that oh yeah just let her in type thing um but it just didn't make sense at first how she would even you know be able to get he's so easily accessed and so fast access to just hanging out with the president uh like nothing you know that was just kind of silly and then he you know there's this unknown person which yeah you know uh uh you know, it, it is it is Kara and stuff, but at the same time, he doesn't know anything. He just had Supergirl try and kill him as, as the president. You know, that's what everyone else did. Everyone who's not working with Lex Luthor just had just saw that Supergirl tried to kill the president. So they can't trust anyone really right now. So why would they let this unknown person just kind of walk into the to the White House? Now maybe the president is working with Lex Luthor and he changed all things. It doesn't matter. The president is not gonna is not gonna put his, not gonna be able to put his own safety at risk over the you know the secret service and all that stuff so that just didn't make sense um and a lot of that doesn't doesn't make sense too too much 
but we'll just have to wait and see where it all goes. So let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.